Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how to prime your boiler if you run out of oil. All you're going to need is just a few simple hand tools to get this done. I've got a pair of channel locks, um, that's to uh, add the fuel to the oil tank. I have a screwdriver to take the burner cover off, and an adjustable wrench used to prime the boiler. Uh, I have a little tin can to um, collect the oil, and a rag just to clean up. Most oil tanks will have an accessible nipple that you can get out. Just use a pair of channel locks to loosen it up. And you can just dump the oil in there. We're not going to close this up just yet. Stay tuned and uh, you'll see why. We'll just set this off to the side here. So let's get this shroud off here. We'll just slide this, this guy right open. You can see the burner here. So the prime port is going to look just like that right there. That's what we're going to open up to prime the boiler. So all we're going to do here is we're going to loosen up this prime port. We'll have our, our little can to catch the oil. We'll loosen this guy up a little bit. Oops. Okay, so we're going to loosen that up about that much. You can put a hose on this, but I don't, I don't find it necessary. But we'll push that, and that'll cause the boiler to try to prime. Okay, we'll push that button. You want to let it keep going until all those air bubbles are out. So now it's all bubbly. You want a nice steady flow of fuel before you start tightening that back up. That looks pretty good right there. Okay, the boiler shut off. That's normal. It's um, It didn't see a flame in time, so it shut off rather than pump the boiler full of fuel. <clears throat> All right. So just make sure that this is snugged back up. Sometimes this takes tw a couple of tries if there's an air bubble in there. But usually it'll go on the first try. So let's try to start the boiler. Okay, here we go. Boiler's running. So this is why we left this open. I have about seven ounces of oil here in this can. We'll pour that right back in the tank. So most oil companies are going to charge you a $50 or even $100 surcharge to come out same day to deliver oil. It's really unnecessary. Um, anybody can do what I just did there. It's very simple to do. Um, grab a can, get some diesel fuel, dump it in, prime your boiler, and you're good to go.